A Fort Smith man has deep cuts on his body after being attacked with a samurai sword. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Peyton Yeager. According to police, 26-year-old Eddie Longdom was arrested for stabbing a man at the 1300 block of Albert Pike Avenue in Fort Smith Friday night. The victim was first taken to an area hospital and then transferred to Little Rock, where police say he's in stable condition. Longdom is at the Sebastian County Detention Center, charged with first-degree battery. He's held on no bond and his court date is set for December 27th. New video shows a suspected drunk off-duty Crawford County deputy trying to use his law enforcement relationships after crashing his car. You might be a county deputy, but if you've been drinking, you're going to get treated like everybody else. Garrett Henry was arrested earlier this month by Arkansas State Police, and he's since been fired. Henry took a breathalyzer and blew a point one six. The dash cam video reveals that Henry's head went partially through his windshield, where then he asked to go to the hospital. Troopers also said he was not wearing a seatbelt. Henry's charged with driving while intoxicated, a misdemeanor, no proof of insurance, and hitting fixtures on a highway. All charges he pled guilty to earlier this week. A Northwest Arkansas man who's charged with first degree murder is now out of jail on a bond of quarter of a million dollars. The Washington County Sheriff's Office arrested 75 year old William Smith this Wednesday on a first degree murder charge. His bond release comes after William's court appearance on Friday. Deputies say Smith admitted to shooting and killing a man in his 60s on Tuesday at the 16,000 block of South Apple Hill Road in Prairie Grove. Deputies say Smith left the scene but was arrested a few hours later. 